Hi and welcome to Seeking Sustainability in Japan. This is part one of a two-part talk with social entrepreneur Lisa Mimura. Hello everyone, thanks for joining. This is Seeking Sustainability in Japan. Today we are talking with Lisa Mimura and we're talking about sustainably designed events and tours. Lisa Mimura is in Hiroshima. She's an entrepreneur. She's doing so many interesting and wonderful projects to combine traditional and cultural Japan with a vision for the future. Thank you so much for joining, Lisa. Hi. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lisa Mimura from Hiroshima, Japan. Thank you for so much for having me today, and I'm excited to introduce myself to you. Yeah, Thank you so much. Arigato. <laughs> and ima ima kara nihongo desh yo ne. So uh, we're doing a bilingual broadcast today. Thank you so much to Kana who is joining today to help with translation. Kana, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Okay, so hi everyone. I'm Kana Kawasaki. I'm working for My Japan, which is the organization, the Plan Asageshiki Tour that we're gonna talk about today. And then I mostly work on the uh, social media supporting uh, for Lisa, and I'm so honored to be here today with you guys. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, Risa, I want to talk just a little bit about your background. I have this wonderful picture on the poster today.、Uh, you grew up in the famous brush town of Kumano in Hiroshima. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about your background and the family business of making brushes that you grew up、uh, learning about. Hi.、Uh, yeah. This is Kumano brush. <笑>カリグラフィーブラッシュ。あと私は家族と一緒にこの熊の筆を作っています。うん。So Lisa was born as the daughter of the Kumano Brush Company, so like a family-owned company. ねで、私の家族は職人さんと一緒に働いていて、小さい頃からえっとそのアートだったりとか習字だったりとか。を習い事でしていました。So she grew up with the calligraphy artwork with the kimono blush maker and then the、uh, the some like artist with her family. I love the kimono brush festival, and we go and they have all the brushes hanging up.、Uh, they have some performances. Uh, people buy the new brushes, and Kumano is so famous for hand making all the brushes, which is really unusual in Japan now. So、mm. you grew up with this rich background of Japanese tradition and culture in Hiroshima. Do you think that has influenced the kind of business that you're trying to do now? Lisa さんが育ってきた環境がやっぱり今の仕事とかにつながってる部分が大きいですよね。はい。<笑>私もその筆祭り、年に一回熊野町である大きいお祭りなんですけど、毎回家族と参加して、販売して売り子をしています。<笑> so she all the time joined the、uh, Kumano Blush event with her family, and then they also sell the their blush there.、Uh, your company is called My Japan. And on your My Japan YouTube channel, you have a beautiful short video of you、oh. in lots of gorgeous kimono.、Um, <laughs> did you also grow up learning about kimono and other traditional and cultural like things? Did you learn a lot of different Japanese traditions? Yes. <laughs> yes. 習字はやっぱりちっちゃい頃から習わされていて、毎週土曜日はお習字の稽古に通ってました。はい。で、そこから今習ってるのは、えっ、ー、と、あとはティーセレモニー、茶道と、うん、茶道を習い始めたので、着物を着る機会が増えて、着物の着る習い事にも通ったりしました。
Yeah, so she naturally grew up with calligraphy, of course, but also she's now been、uh, taking a lesson about the tea ceremony. So the tea ceremony, you know, has to be wear kimono often. So she now can wear kimono. Um, so let's talk about some of the events that you have done that you have created yourself, Lisa.、Um, mm -hmm. So let's start with the Asa Geshiki tour. Can you、mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the concept of the tour? Asa Geshiki はえっと Asa Geshiki っていう名前のブランドを作りました。ツアーブランドになります。で、Asa Geshiki っていう名前は Asa の美しい景色と日本語で朝ごはんを朝下げっていうふうに言うんですね。その二つの意味を掛け合わせて、えっと、美しい景色の中朝ごはんを食べるっていう、あの、トレッキングツアーを広島でしています。で、このツアーのテーマは、アナザーフェイスオブ広島っていう名前で、広島のその有名な観光地だけじゃなくて、広島の歴史の大切な場所を、えっと、ガイド、と一緒に歩くというあのツアーをしています。Okay, so as a geshiki, that word itself means、uh, actually combined two Japanese words. One is the asage, is in Japanese、uh, breakfast, but a little bit old Japanese. And then the asa keshiki is a view in the morning. So she combined two Japanese words、uh, for the tour. And then the concept is the,、uh, the another face of Hiroshima. So we want the people to know about the not only like a piece, you know, the normal history about that things, but also we have a lot of、uh, amazing views that from top of the Mount Futaba. And also we doing a lot of、uh, sustainable. Uh, activity and then the, we really focus on the get connect to the local community. So we kind of、uh, try to make it really different but also、uh, the new, completely new tour. Joined us. Kota san, join,、uh, thank you for joining.、Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Now, you, you are one of the guides for the Asa Geshiki tour. Uh, yes. How, what do you think about being involved with this project? Yes, I love, I enjoy being a guide at、uh, Sagishiki. I actually have been living in the Hiroshima city for just two years, and I work for, normally work for a hotel. We operate seven hotels in、uh, Setoich area, and we got two hotels in Hiroshima city called Nagi and Lazi. And I wanted to spend more time with customer guests. So I take them to the Asageshiki tour, which is、uh, very close to Hiroshima Station. We climb up the mountain and enjoy the nature. Then we、uh, have a great scenery of Setoch Inland Sea.、And、then we have a tea, like a green tea matcha、uh, up on the mount top. And that's the highlight of the tour. And,、uh, I have been taking many Japanese people, of course, and also foreign、uh, people who live in Japan and、uh, they all enjoy. So I really love being a guide at the Sageshiki.、Hey, uh, Risa san, so I want to know more about how you created、um, the concept because. What you are doing with the Asagishiki is so exciting and it's so unique. I was so excited to hear about all the different sustainable parts of the tour. So let's start with、uh, fixing the trail. So it looks like you had worked with the local community to clear up the trail and make it easier to use. Was this part of the original concept? Hiroshima, no, Hiroshima, Joe, から見たときに北東って言っていう方角に位置して、そこは広島の中でも、えっと、鬼門って言われていて、とても大切な場所なんですけど、まあその悪いものが入ってくるのを防ぐっていうところで、神様の場所になります。で、ここの山の、えっと、さっきの道が、だんだんだんだんちょっとあの、えっと、神社の数形者さんとかが高齢化してきて、あの、守っていくのがちょっと大変になってきたので
、まあ、ツアーで訪れるっていうところの中で、私たちも何かできないかなっていうところから、えっと、山道を、え、綺麗にする活動を始めました。<笑>で、実際に私が登ってる時に2回ぐらい、こけたので。<笑>これは危ないって思って<笑>。直していいですかっていうところから、さっきのジョイさんが見せてくれた、うん、崖だったところを手すりをつけたりして、今直していってます。そう。ここの写真。カナちゃんお願いします。そう、いや。そう、when she started the planned tour, the left Java Yama, the Mount of Java, is located in a very important place as a Hiroshima and the north. Which called、uh, Kimon. So, is it said to be the demon came from that place? I'll show you. And then Mount of Taba is not,、uh, has not been maintained yet. So, she wanted to try more、uh, clean and then the maintenance things needed. And then just you know, gradually she、uh, started to think about to do、uh, the Not only the tour, but also cleaning and then the kind of maintenance things together.、Um, so it starts at Toshogu Shrine, where you also had a really interesting festival, which we'll talk about、uh, in a bit the Edo Matsuri, right?、Oh, um, yeah. So you start at Toshogu Shrine and then you walk up through this beautiful old shrine and then through. The forest and the tori gates. And I love seeing this unique bento carrier <laughs> for、yeah. the breakfast. Is this your original design? I love it. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to put the bento to the tea ceremony. It's a secret box. This is the original idea of the original idea. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, and it's all, it's all reusable. It's a zero waste bento, which is so unusual. Plus, you are trying to cater to vegans and vegetarians.、Yeah. Uh, there is so little available for plant based eaters in Japan.、Um, there's so much that you're trying, which I don't see other tours and other guides trying. So it's really impressive. ビーガンとかの食事っていうのと、やっぱりゼロウェイストっていう考え方をしてるツアーってやっぱりなかなか日本だとまだないので、ジョイさんもすごい刺激を受けて。うん、あのビーガンのお弁当の、えっと、できたきっかけが、えっと、カナと、まあ、その知り合って、カナがまあビーガンなんですけど、その広島のえっと、食材だけで朝ごはんを作りたかったんですよ。そこの中で、えっと、ビーガンの人たちがなかなか広島の食材があるご飯を食べるのがまだまだ広島できないんだっていうことを彼女が教えてくれて、じゃあ、えっと、一緒にお弁当屋さんが今回オリジナルで開発してくれたので、カナも一緒にそこの分で入ってくれて、テイスティングしたり、あの、しながらメニューを一緒に、お弁当屋さんと一緒に考えてくれました。The tour concept started, and I told Lisa, and Hiroshima is not like a super friendly for the vegans yet. So I just recommended her to make vegetarian vegan friendly event for the tour. Especially breakfast is maybe a、um, lighter meal in a day. So I think that's perfect to make it original and also zero waste v e n t o box. It looks really beautiful and so delicious.、Um, yeah. Let's hope that anybody who eats this would be so happy、uh, <laughs> with all the delicious, especially for breakfast. You want to eat something light and, and tasty and healthy. I, I think it's such a great concept. And I recognize, of course, my, my partner Paul is one of the The tasters and working with the bento company、mm. to try to make this delicious bento. What was a hurdle? I heard there was a hurdle in making the Japanese food vegan and vegetarian. What we usually find is it's difficult to make it because of the dashi. 
the soup stock. Was was that a difficult point for making the vegan bento? One point, from this time, I made a first vegan bento. I tried it, but I learned a lot and tried it. I made it when I first got it. Paul said, "Wow, I made it for the first time." うん、なんかクオリティがすごい高いってポールさんも驚いてて、うん、結構その出汁のこととか言うんだけどなんかそことかもきちんと昆布から出汁取ってるとか、うんうん、で広島の何て言うかなそういうあのものを使ったりとか味噌使ってくれたりとかしたので、うん、すごいお弁当屋さんが頑張ってくれました、うん、でもなかなかそのお弁当を開発したいと思って近くのお,お弁当カンパニーを探すのに3ヶ月ぐらいかかって、うん、ピックアップの時間を7時にお弁当ピックアップしてガイドと一緒に持っていくんですけどそこを対応できる業者さんを探すのがすごく難しかったです。The biggest things or like a hurdle was actually to find a vento company in the local company. We have to pick up like a 7 a.m. So that's kind of really hard. For the company to let us to do that. But and once we found a company, I was really surprised,、um, to be honest, because they already made perfect vegan bento. So they knew a、uh, stock about、uh, ingredients, of course. So it's already perfect when we try that. So that was an amazing opportunity to know that company. Yeah, that's great. It's great to hear that they were willing to try, right?、Mm -hmm. And with many of the projects that Lisa san is doing, I, I think, wow, I'm so happy to see somebody trying that. It seems so hard, it seems so challenging, but、mm -hmm. she is trying so many unique and new things. Does she ever feel worried that it's not going to work, or she just goes for it? 最初の出だしって、ね、やろうと思ってもなかなかできないことだったりするので特にビーガンとかってそれが素晴らしいリサさんのその一歩の進み方っていうのが素晴らしい<笑><笑>、うん、なんかその思いついたことだったりとか、まあ、その困っていることを何か解決できないかなっていうことを多分考えるのが<笑>だ、うん、無意識にしちゃってるんですけど今回のお弁当はそうやってカナさんとかポールさんとかそういうのをサポートしてくれるあの仲間が周りにいたのですぐお弁当メニューを開発することができました。Yeah, just, はい、just because of her nature,、uh, she wanna just things that make a difference with their friends. And then, yeah, she said, I said, happy to have the vegan friends, of course. <laughs> What, what she's done with the trail is, is often called, it's a new kind of sustainable tourism, sustainable travel called regenerative, right?、Mm -hmm. And I know that she uses this in some of her philosophy as well. Can she talk a little bit about regenerative tours and regenerative work that they've done as a part of the Asa Geishigi tour? のえー、とリジネラティブツアーっていうコンセプトがある中でそのリサさんが今までやってきた取り組みについてちょっと教えていただけますかえっとその汗景色のツアーはこのリジネラティブトラベルの,あの考え方をすごく取り入れていてでえっともともとマイジャパンのコンセプトは日本の、えっと、文化とか伝統とかその先人が守ってきたものを次世代に伝えるっていうことをコンセプトに活動しているんですけどその中でやっぱりえ大切なものだったりとかえっと何て言うかなそういう,こう環境にを大切にするっていうのはもともとなんか日本人が持ってる考え方にあるんですねでその中でそのリジナルティルのツアーっていうのは、まず、その、ここの双葉山の汗景色のツアーを作ったのは、えっと
、広島のすごく大切な場所なんですけど、そこの歴史を伝えていくっていうことが、まあ、広島の人の中でもどんどんどんどん失われていったので、まず一つはそこを伝えてくれるガイドを作ること。うん。なのでさっき出てくれたコータも、えっと、私がそのガイドのトーク、シナリオを考えたのを研修で覚えてくれて、彼が今伝えてくれるっていうこともしてくれています。それが、まあ、伝えていく人を作っていくっていうのが一つと、もう一つは、えっと、まあ、そこの訪れていく中で、田場山を守っていくのに、だんだんすごい階段が、さっきもジョイさんが見せてくれたんですけど、階段が荒れてたんですね。みんなそこを登っていたので、そう、これ、あの、山を楽しむ会っていう会を作ったんですけど、この山を楽しむ会っていうのは、えっと、一番初めに、朝ゲスキのガイドのメンバーと、マイジャパンのメンバーで、えっと、土木業をしているメンバーがいるんです。で、その彼が、えっと、監修に入ってくれて、階段を直すのに、道具を貸してくれて、土を持ってきてくれて、車を出してくれて、一段目から順番に直していくっていうことを、ガイドのみんなでやってみました。それを、SNS で発信すると、すごく反応があって、手伝いに行くよって言ってくれた人が集まって、今では50人ぐらいのコミュニティに1年でなりました。で、その中から、えっと、ツアーを通じて案内してもらうことによって、5% 双葉山に、えっと、寄付をさせてもらってます。で、その寄付をしたことによって、あの、山を楽しむ会って言って、双葉山の保全活動を守っていく活動につなげていくので、えっと、ツアーで観光客が訪れてくれると、そこの場所がどんどんどんどん綺麗になって、または、えっと、訪れるみんなが快適になっていって、いくっていう、なんか、その、ただ守るだけじゃなくて、そこの場所を良くするっていうようなことを取り入れています。One of the most important things we focus on is the, uh, maybe to pass on the, our traditional or Uh, beautiful nature and Futabayama. But、uh, to get local to a guide is maybe get、uh, for local community a network to know about the tourism.、Yeah. And we, when we get the profit, we just、uh, give 5% of fee back to the local community. So that's an important thing to. The system to do the generative tourism. And then she really I think important that is to do more local community and network so that conserve the nature to pass on the next generation through the Asagashiki tour. Wonderful. It's really、yeah. fantastic. And you won an award recently,、uh, which I think is connected to this kind of concept. Tell me about the Hiroshima Satoyama Good Award. It's a 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 good award. 私たちは挑戦させてもらったんですけど、その中の一つの未来の種賞っていうのに選んでいただくことができました。で、オクロモリっていうのは、双葉山の中に生えてる苗が、えっと、広島藩がやっぱ管理したのにすごい原生林が残ってる場所になるんですけど、その苗を、えっと、一回、なかなか人と自然が触れることができなかったので、どんどん森が荒れていくから、都心部の人だったりとか、広島市内の人たちが今育ててくれています。里親になってくれてるんですけど、それを半年間ぐらい育ててもらって、今度はその森を必要としている場所に、あの、送る。もう本当にギフトプレゼントする。そしてそこの場所の地域と人とがつながっていって、そこの場所にまた会いに行こうってなるような、地域の発展にもつながっていくっていうような取り組みを一本の苗を通じて活動しています。So she got awarded like a seed for the future award, which was the、uh, it's really new you know, concept because the she got the, a lot of seeds or a new plants from the f t a b a y a m a but they were maybe supposed to be、uh, 
uh, supposed to not cannot go up there. So she just picked up the some plant, and then they have plants or the the people uh, just uh, planted their own by their own, and then uh, once they grown up, they give back to the forest again, grow up uh, naturally with the wild forest. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love this connection that Lisa, you are making so many times when you explain your philosophy and your mission. You talk about the need to support people and the need to support the environment. And I think, and also you need to make income, right? Like this people, planet, profit balance in sustainability is so difficult to do in actuality, right? Um, but you are using so many creative ideas, so many great collaborative projects with other people, using other people's know-how. You're really doing great projects which show that it is possible to have people, planet, and profit balance. That's wonderful. sustainability <laughs>利益を持つってことのバランスがすごく通常は難しいんだけれど、あの、リサさんの場合はいろんな人のノウハウを借りつつリサさんの持っている素晴らしいアイデアとつなぎつつこうやってすごくね、賞を取ったりとかっていうこと
and also just sleeping uh, laying on the ground we don't have so much chance to do that and that's what we can do with the tour with other people and uh, we hear we smell because people are like uh, 85 percent it's totally like a, with the vision so we close the eyes and we feel with the five senses it's a really great time so we do that before that matcha so everybody enjoy that you have a bit of exercise walking up the hill to the peace pagoda uh, you have tradition as you pass through the the temple and the shrine right and the yeah. tori gates and so you have nature and culture traditions together as you go up through the forest and then you're quiet and listening to the forest you eat healthy food you drink nice tea eat some sweets it sounds like a perfect plan well done <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to try it myself. And I'm sure uh, international visitors and residents will also really appreciate it. But for now, uh, you are offering it to Japanese customers as well. Is that Many right? We are like uh, some neighbors. But they, what we hear is that uh, they have not like uh, climbed up the Futabayama because there wasn't any reason to do it now. And they, hear that our story story and the makeup of uh, Hiroshima city and also they can refresh also so uh, actually like a uh, people of Hiroshima also enjoy that's a great part that's a really important part is that you create something that local people can also value right it's not only for mm. visitors it's something that local people should also feel has mm. value for them right Yes, yeah. I think yeah. that's what makes the civic pride. So I think it's a great tour. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kota. Yeah. And thank you. That's the end of part one, talking about regenerative tour ideas, plant-based ventos in zero-waste containers. What did you think? Please continue on to part two and hear about her ideas for traditional Japanese festivals called the Edo Matsuri.